Mount Pico National Park. Its lush forest used to stretch for 34,000 hectares. Now, just 1% remains. The rest, all dead. The Ivory Coast government blames illegal cocoa farming and is launching a campaign to stamp it out. With the post-election crisis, people infiltrated the forests and destroyed everything, both plant life and wildlife. The animals have virtually all disappeared. It's estimated there are 28,000 people farming illegally in Mount Pico, cutting down forest for new plantations in a never-ending cycle. We invested so much here for so many years. Our children grew up here. If they chase us away, we will suffer, and it worries us a lot. And it won't just be them who suffer. Ivory Coast produced a record 1.74 million tonnes of cocoa last year, accounting for over 40% of the world's supply. A global leader of mammoth proportions, a cut in production would see prices soar of both cocoa and chocolate. For how long? Well, that depends. We have high hopes because as foresters, we know that although much has been destroyed, there are still small areas that must be preserved so that vegetation can return to how it was. Ivory Coast has tried this before in 2013, but was accused of human rights abuses after destroying thousands of homes. This time, authorities say residents will be offered resettlement packages, but many here say they still don't know how much help they'll get.